can't believe you welded up with the torch. That's what I can't believe. Uh, there's more underneath. Wow. Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen you welding it. Yeah. Can I open the door? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the lot more underneath. Oh, that looks good. Jesus. A lot more underneath. That looks real good. Doesn't it? What if you, what's, this, this spot over all these, you've got plugs out of it there. That's supposed to be there. Tell me something, Jimbo. Them holes on the other side, did this have seam sealer in them? Is that all, what they had in them? The holes. Right here. This, um. Oh, right there. Does that just have seam sealer in it? Right here? Oh, yes. Um, I, I ripped the seam seal out and that's what happened to the metal. No, but that's a factory tack there. That's factory thing there. Yeah. But they filled that full I, seam sealer. Yes, I dug it all out so I could weld it there. Are you serious? Um, this side, I dug it all out. I weld this side in. And I forgot about this rubber and I yeah. caught it on fire. So I glued, I glued this in yeah. with the seam seal. This okay. rubber. But uh, that side, I'm going to move the rubber back and forth while I weld. Right. So I don't burn it up. See that stuff there, sweetheart? See that stuff right underneath that red Oh, that's all, Show it's all the seam gone. Is. It's gone. Show I took the, it out. Yeah, I know. But right there on the, in the hump, there's still um, some left. Yeah, yeah, the white stuff. Most that's of it... It's hard to show you because most of it's ripped out. Well, let's go to the other side because I want to show you something. This is blowing my it's mind. It's ripped out of that side too. No, but there's what I'm talking about. There's, there's the, the seam yeah. sealer that was put in there. And that was probably put in there with a, like an electric gun or something or well, whatever. But yeah, they they really put a lot of seam seal. Oh, that looks good, Jimbo. Caulking. You're badass. Torch that up, a car like this and torch it up and come look at this. He's got, a, he's got a seat got a, like a seal here that goes in there but look at the holes that they covered up with seam sealer no the factory. Or, or is it rotted no, off underneath no that's not just that's not totally true uh there's must be that's metal no, underneath there that i i have to weld that corner up that's one spot okay. i haven't got yet so i dug the seam seal out okay and when i did that's what happened to the metal okay. i've had the metal got bent out Right. There's a tab that bends up over that, but it broke. It bent down because the seam seal comes out hard with a screwdriver and a hammer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So the weak spots got bent out, but they're still there. But the round it is all rusty, so I had to weld a patch there. But I wasn't going to mention that, but since you pointed out, because I'm done welding. Yeah. Okay. I advertised done welding, <laughs> I and then I'm welding in a patch right there because you <laughs> noticed that there's a hole. I just thought they must have seam sealed it like that. Like, yeah, well, well they hole. actually did. Wow. But I did bend the tab down right. with the screwdriver. Like, the, there is a tab that covers the hole, but it was seam sealed. But I got my rock guard off. Um, did, didn't, didn't come off good. It did not come off good. So it, How did you get it off? Chisel. Wood chisel. And you got it off with the yellow paint left on there. Well, I could have yeah. done better, but um, I got impatient. I did the other side, and about here, I got impatient. Yeah. And you can tell because you started the, scratching her. The, 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 the stuff That'll came stand. off a lot quicker. That'll stand. You're going to rock her again, aren't you? No. No? You just want no. paint? I also want these things off. How do you get them off without wrecking the door? Uh, they're gun. stronger than the door. Heat they're gun and, and a little bit of a, maybe a cease like paint. a. Uh, I tried the heat gun down there and it got too hot before it got soft. Okay. This would be even worse. I think I'd warp the door by the time I heated it up enough to get that off. Right. Dental floss. Wrap around a couple sticks and try to cut it off. Hacksaw. Hacksaw. <laughs> <laughs> you got to hacksaw this way and cut little pieces so, off. Like this. Something maybe, like piano, something underneath there and cut it off. You probably could Google that, could you not? Um, let me show you somebody show okay you. here we got there is a little dent right here but it's really not nothing yeah um a, a sand right sand them car yeah paint it yellow and paint those yellow and forget about it yeah or go through the apparatus with a heat gun and try to hmm, get them off try to outsmart it and the first thing you do when you get here is you notice the door sunk in and it's bulged out here oh and you can't even touch it and it's all warped the fuck and then you haven't even got the strip off yet. You're just heating it up to get it soft enough to come off. Because these doors are really like, when I heated this up with the heat gun, this bulged on me. Are you serious? Wow. Okay. Big time. It came out quarter of an inch. To get that hot enough to take it off, that came out like that far. 
but it was on the other side. You can, like, it's all black. Because yeah. I, um, I, I was able to scrape it off with a plastic thing with the, blow, with the heat gun, but it got the panel hot enough it bulged out. So if you do the door, you ruin it. Same as when you... Why same, do you want to take that off? I, I'm tired of looking at it. <laughs> I like it better without it. Come on, I'm tired of looking at it. Is that what happens? Yeah. You just get tired of looking at it, you yeah. cut it off. Yeah, you got this side looking good. I hard to believe that you weld that up with a torch and this is still um, in place. This side I used 16th inch plate. And it was not a good idea because the plate held the heat, yep. which warped the thin metal up above it. So I ended up with a wobble, but I, I was able to beat it out and control it and body fill it. <clears throat> yeah, you did a good job from compared to like last time I seen it, it was like, wow, it looks good. Oh, and now yeah, there, when I heated that up enough to scrape that off with a plastic scraper, yeah, that bulged straight out. Okay. And it was so hot I couldn't touch it by the time that softened so i used chisel this side didn't do too bad but it still came off hard so but uh my okay this is uh my world uh, back here for We're a second i take i get that off anyway which pretty good chance i'm gonna have to d use that da and square up that entire panel because the paint will be totally destroyed underneath that strip by the time i get it off well, every time, every time I stick chrome on the car, they tell me it's going to fall off. It won't fall off. No, I don't think I can get that off without two days worth of work on that door to straighten out my mess. Yeah, I to the point where I even bent and put a kink in the door, pulling it because the glue was so strong. Yeah, it overpowered the strength of the door and put a kink in it right in the middle. Like, I, I probably would like. There's going to be a million and a half suggestions on how that comes off, but it's really on there, and I think. I'd uh, almost stretch the metal out of shape, pulling that off. Probably. And the heat gun makes it worse because it bulges the metal. Yeah. You can get something in there, like, I don't know, something cut off. Yeah, but then it's exactly. a day, exactly. a day or two to clean up the door. Yeah. After, because yeah. it's going to destroy the paint job. Yeah, I agree. On both sides. And that's almost as much work as it is to finish this and paint the car. And that's right there when I would make so, my decision say, I'm not touching it. Yeah, sand <laughs> up to it and paint it. Yeah, well, whatever. Or spend... Paint right over top of like, it. Like, I can fix this easier than take that off and yeah. fix that mess. Paint right over top of it. Yeah. Sand it. Well, right I hate them there, but it, I'm going to have to paint them. You're going to have, you're so gonna I have don't, to. I don't want to do everything to the point where the car never gets done. It's a beautiful day here, isn't it, Jimbo? Look, they got the chrome on the chrome handles on this one, Jimbo. Yeah. Woo. Now that strip came right off. Oh, you went for it? No. It was off. It did it on its own. Oh, that must be the chrome I'm sticking on. It comes off. Easy. <laughs> well, we're gonna go look at a car. If you're if you want to come, you're more than welcome. If you don't want to come, you're more than welcome too. <laughs> we're gonna go look at a 47 or 48 mercury two door if you want to you're more welcome if you don't want to it's good enough too i just want to see your car see yeah. how you're making out you got well, your, your basement done your basement's unflooded yeah all yeah. done fixed yeah. i interesting place there yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the what's the plan for today the, the critters Took a chunk of the wood door on the basement, and now there's raccoons living in the basement again. And the other last night, when that no, two nights ago, when I went down to get some wood, I could hear the babies going chirp, 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 chirp. So, oh. um, they're not in the attic, they're in the basement. Uh, they broke that door, the board off the bottom of the door where they had the water pipe going through, um, it was rotten and it was only a little tiny hole and the other day i noticed it was a bigger hole and i could hear them chirping i caught one in the building with a with so, a with a coon trap with a raccoon trap you ever see one a raccoon yeah, trap oh yeah, yeah made of steel yeah i very familiar with them yeah it get in there i went and checking it and it got out it pulled the steel apart and got out oh. <laughs> i'm telling you 
It blew right through it, didn't it? It blew right through it. Pulled it right apart. You can see where it pulled it right apart and it, and it came out through the steel. I'll show it to you if you don't Must believe me. I had a not inspected spot because <laughs> you have to make sure your cages are solid. Well, the cage, like to me, it seems solid. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I missed a spot though because the, the raccoon it. didn't miss that spot. It, it found a spot that was bendable, it so it bent. Blew it right so it open. Had a little loopy thing bent in there. It blew yeah, it right open. Yeah, it's big business, isn't it? But yeah, no problem. No problem. You're going to live yeah. with them, right? Oh, yeah. You're going to let them live no, in the basement? I'm right not now? going through the hassle trying to get rid of them. No? Last year, I spent two months trying to get rid of the ones up in the attic. Okay. They finally left on their own. Yeah. And I got them in the basement. They're probably there for at least a month. Fine. They'll be gone. They were down there making love. No, now there's only babies. one and babies. Uh, no, no yeah. father. Oh, okay. <clears throat> but yeah I don't know I I might go home and get the laser out and go for a drive okay well it's nice I don't blame you a bit and if yeah. you're over our way stop in we'll be I'm back getting worked out and as I said I think leaving those strips on since they don't want to come off will probably knowing me I will ruin the doors to get <laughs> those strips off and I'll have to spend three days working on the doors when if I spend three days on the quarter panels, the car is ready to paint. That's you what know. I would do. Well, you, pull, you pulled I it off. don't you, even really want to paint the whole car. You saved a Cavalier. You, you, you pulled it off. <laughs> you saved a Cavalier. <laughs> well, not done yet. <laughs> you you uh, pulled it off, yeah. Jimbo. Yeah, yeah, it's mainly uh, to take the place of that car. Yeah. I just, In I a just big way. And that hinge, that, that clamp that you made to go in there inside there to hold that forward. That, that sort was, of worked. It was wasn't strong enough. It's quite something. Well, you saw how big it was. Yeah, yeah. It was not strong enough. Yeah. Was at it? all. Oh, it was wow. not strong enough. But uh, it, did, it, did, it did work. But you had to help it. Like, when you got something there, slide a block under it. Yeah. To, to help hold it in a position or else it'll flop the other way like it was yeah um it wasn't secure enough you okay. could use it but you had to um uh, you had to kind of like jimmy it up just like your sump pump yeah you <laughs> had to make it work <laughs> yeah. like it wasn't going to work on its own well yeah, nice yeah this is it. the nicest day we've had uh for two weeks yeah and i even have company no, it, unfortunately, the drivetrain in all these is rotable and works fine. But there's no what, body. What's wrong with this one? No body. They're both the same, in the same okay. condition. They're shot underneath, both of them? This one is missing the outer sill. Okay. That one has it. Yeah. That's the only difference between these cars. Um, if you go over and grab a hold of that sill and pull it off, these cars are identical. <laughs> <laughs> they have real good driving, drivability is beautiful, and the body is gone. The same as that one, and the same as that one. But this one, uh, I got it pretty, I, it's all welded up. Yeah. So it's, but. You're going to oil her up, <laughs> grease her up, and use her up. You're just trying to get the most of what do you got. What you got. Have, have yeah. Cavalier for the rest of your life. <laughs> aren't you going to have no. a cavalier for the rest uh, of your I life i wish it was a standard i like the standards better none of these are standards mm. this is a standard is it no it is not i thought it was a standard when i looked at that no, what's no. your one up yours a standard up there none of them are standards oh okay i prefer standards okay you think you would like a little less time shift from shifting no what's what the problem is the lock-in torque converter works at 40 miles an hour and I don't want it to work till it's hit going at least 50. Okay. Not 35, 40, yeah. because it's, it's constantly shifting back and forth at 40, at 40, 45 miles an hour. The transmission is, the lock-in torque burr is kicking in and out constantly in a battle with the computer off the gas pedal, which wants to run at 50, 1,400 or, or 3,000, jumps back and forth. Yeah. So it's, the tack is going like that. 
What at, uh, that speed all the way down the road? What kind of paint we use on this one? No, I'll. Will you go to Happy Harry's and get urethane. you'll put urethane on it? Yeah, only because uh, it's the only thing you can put on it that you can work with. Oh, in you case can't you do anything with it. In case you want to buff it. No, is that what you mean? If you want to add to it. Oh, okay. Or change it, or refine it. If you want to put car primer on it, yeah. you really should have urethane, right? Yeah. Well, I'm just saying on your own. Well, I'm, I'm not going to. No, I'm not putting enamel on this car. It's going to have urethane. I'm keeping it in the auto range of materials so that <laughs> yeah. other things can add to it. Yeah. If it need to be. Like, I hear you. Like the Oldsmobile, it's bad enough uh, that I use enamel, but it's one liter of oil, of paint yeah. put, put on like one and a half coats. So, and it's a big car and it looks good. So, if a person wanted to take it off and put urethane on it, it's only one liter of paint smeared on the car, with, so with, it shouldn't come off that bad. With that car right there, I would, I wouldn't. I, I mean, let's, this is all because you can't hypothetical. Sand. You can, you could sand that, and you could put feather fill over top of that. And as long as you didn't go through it, you could paint urethane on that. On the enamel. Uh, no, on the urethane primer. You, if you put urethane primer over top of that. Then you could put your urethane on it. Make sure it's covered. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Well, on the Oldsmobile with the enamel paint, right? Can you put you put yeah? Uh, can you put a coating on it yeah. so that you can put urethane on it? Yes. Okay. Yeah, on the enamel. Right. Because on the Oldsmobile it's enamel. So you could throw on the Oldsmobile. Like you said you could put feather fill on that. That primer that I use. Okay. You could prime that and then wait your couple days, sand it down, and then you could put urethane on it. Right. But yeah. you would not want to break through the urethane primer and spray your paint on it because it would probably do something if you know what i mean yes oh yeah. it wants to be completely covered wherever you spray yes. the enamel yeah so that would work so that's why i don't mind i say i don't mind it's just if i get a car that's not acting well with the paint situation sand and all that sort of stuff i like trim clad to be like we did the 50 at trim clad on it i think when we sanded it i just put urethane on it to uh, give it a coating so I could put your and that's your, and you had to put that feather coat on it to put your, your right. urethane on because it, the urethane can't go on enamel right but you you put that primer on it right mm -hmm. as long as you don't break through to back into the paint yeah, you're fine right. yeah and I did it twice I mean yeah and everything stuck good so basically you know if it stuck good when you're sanding it yeah, yeah. but it worked out well so you'll be painting soon. Will you just be, um, will you be just using lacquer primer on that? Just a can um, primer. That uh, this is where um, things get difficult. Yeah. I'm almost finished body filling. Yeah, I see that. I'm. I tried to sand it with AD grit to get rid of my scratches, yeah. and uh, I'd have to say unsuccessful. Well, you couldn't. You couldn't use yeah, it. No. Up. If I sand down, I'm going to have metal. So I have to put, I have to add two and square it off. I can't sand it down any further. Now, okay. I still I got know, 40 grit scratches with 80. Mm -hmm. Smooth, if I sand down more, I have high spots right. in metal. But if you had urethane primer, yeah. you could add to that yes, and bring and it up higher it and then block yeah, it off. Yeah, and block it off. Yeah. Because I, I can't sand any more on with it. The, Without putting more on of yeah. something, I can't sand. With your solvent primer, you have to sand better than 80. Because you'll see scratches. Well, you have to sand it all out. Yeah. Yeah. You add to it, sand it out. But anyway, I, where where I'm going with this from here um, was not my decision of the day. <laughs> That's why. But I did get the tarmac off the side of the door. Yeah. And it's not that bad of a spot to fix. Like, I can buff that off. But if I take those strips off, I think I'm condemning myself. No, I wouldn't. I just but that's yeah. it's entirely up to you. You're a car, but yeah. anything that causes you more work. Like, like if it if it was a for sure thing for you, you would already have them off right now, and show me how to do it. Well, I mean, I, I <laughs> <laughs> like if you really want them off. Oh, Jim, I'll show you how to do that. Well, then we have to go to Middleton. 
And in you go and you just rip them off and there, well, there that's how you do that. Look at that, what a beautiful job. An X-Acto knife or a piece of oh. twine. You know, X-Acto knife just run yeah, down just and just run down. Kind of cut it hand. off the same way grandmother would. Yeah, it's cutting your bread. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um. <clears throat> All righty, we're going to rock this place. We're going to go check out that car. Um, no doubt in my mind, if we get to see it, which I think we will, I'm hoping we will, uh, maybe Jolene will post it on her other page, I'm not sure what page she'll post it on, don't even know she's going to post it, just kind of wrote for a little galley van, um, got the Saturday off, decided to see Jimbo, I want to see who's getting, how close he's getting with his car, and how, how it looks, and uh, I'm going to tell you, I'm impressed with the torch, like I'm just impressed how he fixes all that stuff with the torch, because... You got to use both hands, and when you're when you're welding things up, generally you want the other hand um, to hold things. Oh, you know, this car was actually easy to weld up because most of the time I was just laying on the ground, laying on a mat on the floor. <laughs> and Did you the find your head? Gravity head? helped, and then I just floated the metal together. I know. But I was laying. I was even laying down. I'm amazed how you haven't caught the garage on fire yet. Uh, that's by taking out all that goop on the first sign of it burning. Yeah. So you don't necessarily take out the stuff first, but take out the interior, then start welding, turn off your torch, go up and uh, take a screwdriver and scrape all the stuff that's burning out of the way well, while it comes out easy. Because it comes out too hard, like it half destroys the floor to get that out if you don't catch it off fire first. Yeah. You know, you catch it and off fire, it comes right, it just comes out easy. Yeah. But you're, it's burning, you know, you have to hold your breath. <laughs> and you scrape it out, get it out of the car, mm. but cold comes off hard. But no, I'm not. I'm not uh, excited like I should be. You know what I mean? Well, uh, I'm kind of burned out. I'm not, you should be excited that you're almost done. But uh, yes, that's it's and almost I'm almost done. tempted to paint it yellow on 80 grit. Yeah, like I don't know why you wouldn't use why wouldn't you use the paint they use on the Osmobile. Well, that's the enamel. Well, what's oh, the matter? Oh, your primer covers it up. What's the matter? If you want to put a nice paint job on it. And then, the say, two years' time, want to sand and paint the whole car. I yeah. just cover it with your primer. Yeah. Sand or it, don't break through, yeah. and I, I put enamel on it. You could or, sell. Uh, your thing. You could sell. Yeah. I don't oh, know. Like, yeah. Where are these? Here we come. <laughs> 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 I was thinking. It'll probably take about a pint to put it on. When, when I first met Jim, Jim was driving his Studebaker truck. I met him way before that, but he had a Studebaker truck, and every every couple of months, that thing was a different color. She was orange one time, yeah, I, she was brown one time, uh, she was like 20, blue. 30, 40 pictures. <laughs> of different colors it was, so you wouldn't know if it was his truck or not. It would become I, I could paint the entire truck, uh, two coats, in three hours. Yeah, and one day it'd be red, and the next day it'd be black. It's like, yeah. what the hell is going in on? Three hours. Like, I could wake up in the morning, oh, I have this paint. Yeah, I like that color. And then paint the whole truck in. And I got pretty good at cutting in around the rubber or chrome. Got pretty good at it after a while. Like, what about, uh, what did I say now? You had two colors there one time, orange and brown? or um, Yeah. I, blue and brown or something? A lot of colors ne people never, I changed before anybody even saw it. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't like it? I got through painting it once, and then as soon as I was done, sat back and didn't like it and repaint the whole thing. Wow. With a brush. Because of the color. Yeah. And didn't it always like looked good going down the road, man. Yeah. But the Osmobile, it, I like it. It's looking flat. Yeah. Back last fall, it still had a gloss to it. Uh, I didn't like the gloss, but it's starting to flatten out a yeah. little bit. The paint's maturing. That's the so best. looks more natural. That's the best that car's looked in... 30 years. Oh, no, I think it's the best it's ever looked, except for brand new. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Yeah. But. <clears throat> When's that coming out? Just is soon in the way. As soon as you move this bad boy, that's yeah. getting rolled out and rolled down? Yeah. Will you yeah. be coming over our place smoking cigarettes, smoking, driving that thing? Yeah. Smoking darts <laughs> and breaking hearts? Um, should have some of the interior in it, maybe, but. Yeah. It's overrated. Front seat will do. Yeah. Front seat will do. All right. Back seat's in better shape than the front seat. Well, you don't sit in the back seat, I don't imagine. Yeah, back seat only has one little rip. Um, nice in the sun. Nice in the sun. All righty, girl. 